Hey, what's up guys? This is Ryan Sims and today I want to talk to you about a photo shoot that I did with international foot archer Orissa Kelly. Orissa Kelly is an amazing world-renowned foot archer. Um, if you don't know what that is, it is exactly what it sounds like. So Arissa reached out to me on Instagram and she wanted to do some really cool Photoshop composite work. We kind of chatted back and forth trying to figure out what the theme of this photo shoot was going to be. And so we eventually ended up with the idea of this Western theme. A little bit about me, if you don't know. Who this guy is. I'm a uh, photographer and digital artist. I do a lot of Photoshop composites. That's my specialty. I photograph people and then cut them out and put them in a different world. Completely different environment. So I thought Arissa Kelly would be an amazing subject to do this type of work with because of the uniqueness of what she does. And plus the idea of putting her in this Western themed world is just super unique and different. And Arista kind of has this ongoing joke where she likes to hunt down her exes. And so we thought it'd be funny to kind of bring that idea to life. So when you're creating Photoshop composites, I do think it's a very, very wise decision to have a solid concept in mind. Arissa and I collaborated on putting together a Pinterest board gathering inspiration. She drew inspiration from Westerns. Me being a hardcore gamer drew inspiration from things like Red Dead Redemption. And then of course her idea with uh, the whole hunting down the exes thing really was kind of the glue that tied all that together. You definitely want to have a kind of a ballpark idea of, of what you're going to be doing uh, compositionally, uh, lighting wise, and, and so forth. So normally when I light my subjects, I like to do a thing I call movie poster lighting, which is essentially having a main light and at least two side lights. And that's because I very much like portraiture style of lighting, but also I want to add some form of separation from them in the background. For one, it helps with the extraction process, but two, I've just always kind of been inspired by movie posters and that type of look. For my lighting setup, I had a three light setup. They were all Link uh, 800 watt second flash units. Um, for my main light, I used a 60 inch uh, foldable Octabox um, that had a diffusion dome on the inside. For my rim lights, I actually used a, a 10 by 36 inch strip box uh, with the diffusion dome uh, as well on both of those. When you're creating composites, there's several different ways you can do it, right? You can either shoot for the concept of the background and try to light to make your subject match the background, or you can kind of shoot a little bit more generic so it can kind of fit all backgrounds. You can get away with a lot of stuff with good lighting, regardless of modifiers. I've, I've said it many times is the fact that if you have a great portrait and it's lit well, then you can really get away with a lot of stuff in compositing. Uh, just simply because you have a good foundation with good lighting. But when you have the rim light, it kind of just gives that subject the separation. So if there's maybe like a sun in the background, it kind of creates the effect on the subject if you've got those rim lights set up that there is some huge light source that's actually behind them. And so even though we're getting a variety of different shots, uh, we're kind of laying a good foundation when it comes to lighting for these to be very versatile to work with whatever we put in the background. It was really cool that we got to create a lot of different, unique composites for this photo shoot. I remember Arissa and I wanted to make like a wanted poster. So we got to create like a wanted poster out of one of them. Uh, and then some of them were a little bit more artistically driven. They looked a little bit more like paintings, which actually involved a little bit of like hand painting with my Wacom tablet. And then there was a series where I actually went outside my house because there's like a construction area like two minutes away from where I live in Smyrna, Tennessee. We've got all this cool area 
you look off into the distance, there's a lot of really cool stuff. It looks like a desert. So I use some of those stock images to create those composites. For another image, we actually did completely CGI. Uh, Arissa sitting on a stool and we were actually able to put her in this like Wild West saloon type vibe. And that was super, super fun. So when it comes to this specific craft, there's a lot of different ways and, and techniques that you can do to kind of help bring these concepts to life. It's really important to have uh, dependability and consistency in the lighting, uh, especially for Arissa's sake, when she's holding really, really hard poses and it's hard for her to breathe, you want to be able to take, you know, some several shots really quickly uh, and have that, that consistency and power. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. For more content like this, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. If you want to check out me and my work, uh, you can check that out in the description below. And a huge shout out and thank you to Arissa Kelly. And you can check out her stuff in the description as well. And we will see you guys in the next video.